If you're looking for a fitness tracking app, you may just be in the right place. Today we're going to have a look at Athletic and we're also going to have a look at Whoop and see which one is the right option for you. So let's check it out. So the first thing we're going to go ahead and jump into is Athletic. Athletic does offer a comprehensive activity tracking. This tracks a wide range of activities from running and cycling to strength training and yoga which gives you a holistic view of your fitness. The app also provides detailed recovery metrics, including sleep quality and heart rate viability, which can help you understand when to push harder and when to rest. It also offers personalized training recommendations based on your specific performance data, ensuring that you're always working towards a specific fitness goal that fits your needs. The app is actually designed with a very intuitive interface, making it super easy for you to navigate across all of your data at a glance. Athletic integrates seamlessly with various wearables, allowing you to sync your data for a more comprehensive analysis. Jumping into Whoop now, it does have a 24-7 heart rate monitor, which provides continuous heart rate monitoring, giving you a real-time insight into your cardiovascular health and exertion levels. The app calculates your daily strain and recovery scores, helping you to understand how hard you've worked and how well you've recovered. Whoop also offers advanced sleep tracking, analyzing your sleep cycles and providing a bit of a better insight to improving your sleep quality. You can also receive personalized insights and recommendations based on your personal data, allowing you to optimize your training and recovery. Whoop fosters a community aspect. This means it allows you to participate in challenges and share your progress with your friends. Diving into one or two of the drawbacks here, in Athletic, it relies heavily on data from wearables. So if you don't have a compatible device, you may miss out on some key insights. Also, some people have found that the app's recommendations are too generic and not really tailored enough for their specific fitness levels or goals. Also, on Whoop's side, Whoop operates on a subscription model, which can be costly over time, especially if you are on a budget or if you want to just try it out for a couple weeks or months and not have to pay a large amount. The device is also designed to be worn continuously, which could be uncomfortable if you know, you're not used to it, especially, of course, if you are sleeping. They both have strengths and weaknesses, and to make a decision as to which one you should be using, you probably should use both of them and see which one works for you best. If this was helpful, drop us a like. We'll see you next time.